Pretty All right, good. so the quesadilla maker is actually a total piece of shit. Burnt my hand, forgot to put the top on the quesadilla, fucked up, all hell's breaking loose, but. <laughs> Welcome to Gamer Fuel. I'm your host, Trammy Surprise, and I'm going to teach you how to make some of the greatest Gamer Fuel so you get massive muscles like myself. So what are we cooking today? Well, today I got a good one for you. We're making partially vegan quesadillas. That's right, folks. So if you're vegan, you can hang around. This recipe will probably still work for you. Maybe not the entire thing, but I'll tell you when to back out. First things first, we gotta get the, the the beans and lentils cooking to go inside and outside and all around our quesadilla. I love me some beans. Beans make you fart and farting is good for your heart. So that's why we eat a lot of beans. Stay shredded, you know what I'm saying? Fire up, fire up the old uh, stove top. I go with medium, you know? I'm no expert chef. I don't know what the fuck's going on in here. But uh, I feel like Medium's, medium's a safe setting where you can't get yourself in trouble. Whatever you're cooking, medium. I got these uh, refried beans. To throw some of those in the pan. Refried beans go great with pretty much everything. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, even dessert. You can squeeze refried beans in. It's gonna taste good. It's gonna feel good. Refried beans lead to refried beans that just slide right out. And that, that, you're feeling good after one of those. All right, hold on a second. We gotta bring in the close-up cam to show the refried beans going into the pan. I gotta bust out my close-up deployable camera. All right, so we're gonna pour these in the pan. Uh, pan's looking kind of grimy. Yeah, the wife made breakfast earlier and didn't clean up. And what the hell am I gonna clean a pan for if I'm just gonna dirty it again? So that's just extra seasoning for whatever we're cooking. I don't know what she had for breakfast, but it looks like it really stuck to the side walls there. All right, we gotta plop that out. Oh, man. It plopped out like the way, it went in the pan like the way it goes in the toilet. Bloop. All right, now let's get our, uh, let me swap to our lentils. All right, so the lentils are open and these things are freaking good. Peruvian lentils. They pretty much fully cooked. You just heat them up. Delicious. And I think it's gonna, I've never tried it on a quesadilla, but I think it's gonna be freaking good. Using my pouring technique gets them all in there pretty much. It's a pretty good technique. You could do it one-handed in case like you got to scratch your ass with your other hand or film. You know, whatever. Do each his own. All right, so you got to this far. You're still hanging in there. What the f do we do now? Well, if you've seen my previous cooking videos, anything you put in the pan, you just freaking poke it a lot, and eventually it heats up. Oh, these might be sticking. The co old copper top from the infomercial ain't uh, ain't doing its part in the deal. Oh yeah, oh yeah, they're cooking now. Now that the poking, they weren't cooking before. You get the poking going. Once the poking's going, the cooking starts flowing. Once the poking's going, the cooking starts flowing. That's right. You can quote me on that one. That's anyone ask you about your technique, you tell them that. Poking's going, cooking's flowing. This is gonna be one freaking good quesadilla. Eh, I've never tried these refrides. The lentils I know are good. These refrides are looking a little, uh, a little dense. Puck, 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 puck. Guys, you're gonna be proud of me? Not metal. I'm using, um, whatever the hell, whatever color this is. This ain't metal, so it's like not scratching the pot. It's like I'm a veteran cooker now. You know, top tier grandmaster cook. You don't wanna put that on the counter. Alright, pro technique. Look at that, now you don't have to clean the counter later. Alright, so let's see what we got for these uh, while the lentils and, and uh, beans are cooking up. We've got some organic, medium, Winn-Dixie style salsa. You go medium, you go hot, too hot. When you go hot, you feel it the next day when you're passing it, and it says, a day of spicy butthole is not a good day, so. Stick to medium. If medium's too much for you, go mild, you know? Test the waters first. See what's a comfortable level of uh, salsa for you. Next, because we went medium, and that'll probably burn us up too, get the 
sour cream. That's right, folks. Sour cream will cool that right down, so it pretty much neutralizes putting the salsa on there. In fact, I don't even know why we buy the salsa if we buy the sour cream to neutralize each other, but it actually becomes a good combo. And finally, I got the ultra premium cheese. Four cheese Mexican blend. If you're making quesadillas, you have to use Mexican cheeses, otherwise the whole thing will come apart. Not Mexican cheeses in a quesadilla just doesn't blend. The thing will probably burn up, explode or something. You should stick with your Mexican blends. Let's check on those lentils and, and mush. This is a lentil and pinto mixture. You won't see this on most cooking shows. This many beans will blow out. Most nor an ordinary human being can't handle these gas levels. I'm a trained veteran. If you've seen on Melzy Gal's channel, I've been known to cut a fart or two here and there. So I'm trained better and I can handle double beans. I don't know. Kind of looks hot over there. I think we're ready to start assembling the quesadilla. And guess what? We got our very own quesadilla maker. The maker you can see from the label, quesadilla maker ambiano. So that's how you know it's the real deal. If it doesn't say quesadilla maker ambiano, you messed up. Guys, I forgot a very important thing. So I know I said this was a partially vegan quesadilla. So, so if you're eating the vegan portion, this is it. It's done. Just uh, eat that with a spoon and uh, you're good to go. You just take the, the bean and lentil mush and eat that and you've got yourself a vegan quesadilla. But if you want to take it to the full full deal, we're going to bust out the actual like tortilla wraps and the cheese and stuff. So now we're kind of stepping past vegan and entering the less than vegan. I mean, I'd still, I'd still consider it vegan because I don't have any cheeseburgers in here. All right. Look at these homemade burrito grandes. You don't get burrito grandes anywhere, but I found them. So we're lucky to bust these out. Let's uh, let's throw some of these on the uh, on the slab, huh? So you slap that first beast on there, right? Look at that perfect size, and I just eyeballed that at the store. Just wanged it from seeing my quesadilla maker once before. Winged it, winged it, winged it, guys. So we're gonna throw some cheese on there, and then some of our lentil and bean mixture, and then some more cheese. Oh, we gotta sprinkle some cheese on here. This is a two-handed process. You're not getting a close-up. We just gotta, you gotta have hang back there. I'll try and do some zoom action in the post-production and uh, you'll get the, you'll get the real deal action of it. Busting out the Ketbot Mexicon. I say I was not a Mexican accent. Ketbot Mexican. Mexicon. I don't know. I don't have a Mexican accent. Um, these hands were previously washed. I washed my hands, um, in the shower last night, so we are good. Don't worry about the touching of the food. They were washed last night. Just, you know, mix that cheese around a bit. Make sure you have even um, cheesulation levels. If your cheesulation levels are not even, eh, things get messed up. Right, now let's get some beans and lentils and toss some of that on there. So he threw some beans and lentils on there. I gotta, gotta kind of spread them around. We're gonna have to bust out a spoon for this. Let's spread them around a bit. Maybe a little, you know, just smear, smear it, smear it like you're uh, you're at your local local kids bar mitzvah, smearing some cream cheese on a bagel. Maybe a nice nova spread, like that. That's the technique you want to use. Oh yeah, that looks good. All right, so we're gonna cheese again. One more deployment of cheese. A hearty, hearty serving. Party serving, you don't want your quesadilla to not have cheese on it, then it wouldn't uh, wouldn't be quesadilla. It'd be a quesadilla, don't you? <laughs> so once you've applied like a block of cheese to your quesadilla, you're good to turn this sucker on. We plugged in the quesadilla maker, it goes live. There's no on and off button, it's just plugged in or not plugged in. That's your option. And we're good to go. We're gonna close this beast up now. Are you ready? Are you guys ready, ready for this? this? Closed and locked in, and that should just be forging a quesadilla right now. The quesadilla forge. So what to do mm. while you're waiting for your quesadilla to cook? Well, um, I'm kind of a big fan of myself, so a little, a little flexing in front of the camera never hurts. Oh! Makes me feel good when I flex in front of the camera. And I know after I eat this quesadilla, I'll be totally shredded because it's partially vegan. I think that means healthy, so... Don't even have to work out today, probably. Just absolutely shredded from this dia.
We'll be back later when it's done. Guys, I freaking cut and I was like, I wonder if this thing's done. So I, I opened it to look. I forgot I forgot to put the I forgot to put the top of the quesadilla on. So we are putting a top on now. But hey, it's non-stick, right? That worked. The non-stick works. So throw it throw a top on there. Do not forget the top. Alright, so the quesadilla maker is actually a total piece of shit. Burnt my hand, forgot to put the top on the quesadilla. Fucked up, all hell is breaking loose, but it looks like it's done now, so let's try and eat. It was only ten dollars, so it's a good deal. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! How do I get out? I need a special. Use a special. <laughs> Woo! Holy sh! A one burnt hand quesadilla maker partially melted on itself, and I think we're done. I think it's cooked up. We're about to see the finished product. Let me bring it up to you all. It looks surprisingly good. It's extremely hot. They definitely cook them hot in there. It's like a Mexican pizza. So we've got uh, the quesadilla complete, ready to go in little quesadilla triangles. Sour cream and salsa, ready for dunking. Now it's time to dive in and take a bite, see what we think. All right, it's been a fucking war making this quesadilla. Hopefully, hopefully it tastes good. Let's give it a shot. Oh, I like, the thing does make like little pudgy triangles. I really like that. They're like stuffed. Let me show you how you dunk. You guys, you guys probably don't know how to fucking dunk. Bunch of rookie dunkers. You gotta get in there, you gotta scoop. You're not, a dunk should be more of a scoop. If people don't think your dunk is a scoop, you're dunking wrong. Alright. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. It tastes like a Crunchwrap Supreme. It does. It tastes like a Crunchwrap Supreme. Haha, <laughs> I got you Taco Bell. I figured out how you make your Crunchwrap Supremes now. Figured that one out. Oh my god. Mmm. Oh, despite the fact that my quesadilla maker got too hot and actually melted itself, the quesadilla is really good. Hopefully it can still operate once I take it to the quesadilla maker repair shop. Mmm. It also melted your hand almost. Melted my hand too. Can we get a focus on here? Oh yeah, look at that. Look at all that in there. Look at all that. Mmm. Oh my god, it's a good dude. You want a bite? We gotta take a bite for the camera. Come on. Oh baby. Mmm. Oh. Oh. Damn. This might become a regular. It tastes good with the lentils. There you have it, folks. The partially vegan quesadilla. Tune in next time. We'll make uh, whatever you guys recommend in the comments. We'll be making. And if you're still there, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and tell a thousand of your friends. Well, not a thousand. Right? Hundred of your friends. You guys get each of you get a hundred of your friends to smash that subscribe button. We hit a hundred k subscribers tomorrow and then we uh, are just a full-time cooking channel maybe some gaming maybe some weird videos maybe some of just me chilling in the hot tub babbling you know all that could happen get the word out share the channel let everyone know let's go thanks for stopping by please subscribe